I'm glad I can share this devotional with you today. The devotional is about unity. I know that we've all been feeling a sense of a disunity in our land uh, following uh, the uh, passing of George Floyd. And it, we might at times struggle at times as to what we can do. Well, one thing we can do is we can pray and we can also value unity. So I'm going to read part of Psalm 133, and then I'm going to read uh, for you a prayer that was uh, composed by Caspar Schwenkfeld, from whom uh, our church and our denomination uh, takes its initial bearings. Caspar Schwenkfeld wrote uh, at a time unlike ours, meaning he wrote in uh, Germany during the time of the Reformation, but his thoughts on unity uh, can be very helpful for us today. I've modernized a translation that was done uh, on his prayers from uh, 1961 by a man named John Joseph Stout. Uh, and I'll explain to you his prayer and then invite you to conclude this devotional by praying the prayer along with me. Psalm 133 verse 1 reads like this. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is a valued thing for God's people to live together in unity. And Caspar Schwenkfeld picked this up in one of his prayers uh, dated from 1539. I'll read it and comment, and then we'll conclude the devotional with a prayer. O eternal merciful God, you are a God of peace, love, and unity, and not of division and diversity. Here meaning, our God is one who is one who, who is loving and tries to bring things together. He's a peaceful God, a merciful God, and Schwenkfeld starts the prayer that way. Then he writes further, Because of this, you and your right did leave this world, because she forsook even you, even you, though you alone can create and maintain unity. So you see that Schwenkfeld finds unity to be found in something that God can give alone, not in what man can give. Then he writes, You did allow this to happen in order that she might return to you, O lover of unity. That's interesting how our world is seeking unity, but not seeking it in the Lord. If they sought it in the Lord through Jesus, then they would find him. Reading further, We poor sinners to whom you have graciously granted knowledge of this, ask and urge you through the Holy Spirit that you would assemble all that is dispersed and unite and make whole what is divided. Here, Schwenkfeld asking for God to bring people together in unity. Reading further, Grant us also that we return to your unity, to seek your sole eternal truth, to shun all division, so that we may become one thought, will, knowledge, mind, and understanding directed towards Jesus Christ our Lord. And here Schwenkfeld uh, uh, asking the prayer person who's praying to shun division, but also to find that directed towards Jesus to whom, through whom all unity can come. And then the prayer concludes like this. May we in all unity praise and honor you with one voice, Heavenly Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, here's a prayer for unity. Why don't you just now uh, Close this devotional with me. We'll pray it together, asking God, who is the one who brings all unity, to bring together things in our world as we pray. Let's pray. O eternal, merciful God, you who are a God of peace, love, and unity, and not of division and diversity, but you in your right left this world because she forsook you, even though you alone can create and maintain unity. You allowed this to happen in order that she, meaning the world, might return to you, O lover of unity. We poor sinners to whom you have graciously granted knowledge of this, we ask and urge you through the Holy Spirit that you would assemble all that is dispersed and unite and make whole what is divided. Grant us also that we return to your unity, to seek your sole eternal truth, to shun all division, so that we might become one thought, one will, one knowledge, one mind and understanding directed towards Jesus Christ, our Lord. May we in all unity praise and honor you with one voice, Heavenly Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, I hope this was a helpful sample prayer for unity. May God bring us unity in our world, and may he give you peace as you too pray 
for unity and reconciliation in our world. May God bless you today.